Hello everyone, how are you all today? I hope you are doing great. In today's video, we are going to talk about how you can install a PHP script in virtual main. So every step of this video is going to be very important for you. Don't miss any part of this video, otherwise you will not understand at all. And if you are new to this channel, then subscribe this channel by clicking on the red button below of it. Also hit the bell icon, its advantage will be that whenever I post a video, you will get its notification first and you will not miss that video. My name is Siddharth and welcome to my channel Sacro. You all can see on my screen that I am in the dashboard of virtual main. Uh, first of all, let's talk about what is virtual main and how it works. Uh, in this video, we will not talk about virtual main in much details. Uh, for that, I will make a separate video in which I will explain to you every single thing about virtual main. What is virtual main? Virtual main is a website control panel and it is alternative of cPanel or Plesk. Virtual Mint gives the ability to create and manage many domains. It is free open source application only for Linux server administration. Now I will tell you to install PHP script in it so that you will understand its working process. In this video, I have taken a PHP script for demo purpose which is the Sumo Web Tools. If you want the script then I will give its link in description box of this video so that you can download it easily. First of all, we have to go inside its file manager and file manager is appearing here. So you have to click on it, just simply click on it. Now this is our file manager of virtual main. After this we have to upload our files in public underscore html. Note that you only have to upload your files inside public underscore html folder. So I am going to upload my files. Just simply click on this files option and upload, a current, uh, upload to current directory. Simple click on it. And here an option appearing which is drag and drop files. So simply drag and drop or simply click to select on it. My files is here. Just sumo web tools 1.0.4 and sumo web tools 1.0.3. I'm going to select this and just clicking on this extract compressed. So this will uh, extract automatically to our file manager. Just upload. Uh, this will take some time. So we can wait until this will done. Our files has been extracted. So we have to click on it. And select all these files. And just click on edit and cut from here. And again, click on public underscore HTML and paste here we cut the files from this folder to our main folder which is public underscore html after this we have to create a database if you are if you are a beginner and don't know how to create database then let me tell them you can create or edit database in two ways if you have only one virtual server then you can go inside webmin and just search database here and now you can see a database option is appearing here so simply we have to click on it just simple click on it now you can see there are many databases here but you don't have to touch any of them because they are all system default databases so create a new database for your project so anytime you create a virtual server then create a new database here you can see that there is an option to create a database so simply click on it now you have to give the name of your database here and just create it now you have a database but you will also need a user to access this database so for that you have to go inside the user permissions option which is appearing here and click on the create new user option to create a user if you want to be anonymous user then you can leave it as same or you can give your own username with the click on it i'm giving it testing now you have options to create a password or leave it as none. So we are going to set a password for this. Just a simple password, ESTF at 123. Okay. Now uh, select a host. You can select a host to any or select local host only. I'm just selecting local host. Okay. Now we have to select permissions. Just click on the single. And with the help of shift, I'm going to select last one. Okay. So you can see all permissions has been selected. Now leave all these options as same and just click on the create option. Now your user is created. Now you have a database. Also you have a user, but wait, something is missing here. What is that? 
that is database permissions what is database permissions you have a database and you have a user now you will need a connection between both of them and we can call that permissions uh, which granted to a user to access a database so we have to go in our database list so click on the return to database list and you can see a uh, database permissions is appearing here so simply click on it now click on the create new database permissions option now you can leave this on any or you can select a specific database from here or you can uh, give it a matching pattern from here okay i'm just going to select my database uh, which is i created which is test okay and the username which i created username is testing testing and host is my local host local host and permissions from first so to last okay then click on the create so now we have created a database permissions for user and our database that's it if you have two or more virtual servers then an option of added database will appear under added mail analysis this is added a database option is appearing under mail analysis so simply click on it now here you have got all the settings already done only you have to create a database there is no need to create a specific user there is no need to create database permissions only you have to create a database for a specific sub user or a sub server okay so i'm going to create a database let's give it a name and the click on create so our database is created now again click on this added databases option now you can see our database is appearing here testing one just click on this database and you can see and there are many options are coming like delete this database you can directly delete this database by clicking here and the other one is dissociate with server and the other is manage database so we have to click on this manage database option now you can see there are many options like create a new table if you want to create a table manually you can create a view from here and drop database also coming and backup database you can backup your database by clicking here and after that execute sql so we have to click on this execute sql option now you can see three options are coming like execute sql you can uh, run a sql command to create your uh, database okay you can run as sql file from here so we have to run a file from here just simply click on this to upload from your a uh, pc or from your laptop just click on this and you can simply select your database files which is with the db extension so from here you can easily upload your uh, database now again we will go inside the file manager and uh, we will check our files once again whether they are uploaded properly or not everything looks fine now we will access our domain i'm just uh, opening a new tab and just and just typing my domain tools.usemymarket.com and just simple enter you can see this is redirecting me to install subdirectory so simply i'm going to run this website with the https okay and again enter now i'm going to uh, click on let's go and then checking all these requirements are green tick and then again continue option and this is asking for purchase code i'm just going to random number uh, database host local host database port 3306 database name we created our data uh, database name we can check our database name again added database option our database name is testing1 so give it testing1 testing1 and our user is use my market you can give your own username here and password of your username then save changes now uh, click on continue button and give it your id and your password for login 
and hit the enter now you can see a success message is coming here import demo content this is asking you want to uh, continue with demo content then you have to click on continue option uh, you can see demo content has been imported successfully and this is showing me a congratulation message so simply i'm going to uh, click this view your website option now you can see my website is looking very nice now i'm going to check all these functions are working properly or not so just any one of them i'm going to test it to a uh, slug option so i'm just typing anything here and convert you can see 500 server error is appearing because we did not upload add-ons of this php script so we have to upload the add-ons of this php script as well so just click on the file manager option and open your uh, file manager of your desktop now we have this option sumo web tools add-ons okay components and components so you have to upload this option components so i'm going to my browser again and clicking on file then upload to current directory simple clicking and add-ons components and again add-ons and extract compressed then upload okay then you have to click on it again click on it just select this and cut this from here click on public html again in component which is our main file select app then select sorry paste here directly paste here from edit and paste now our add-ons has been uploaded successfully as well so again check this option by refreshing this page i'm going to random numbers and convert now you can see this is working fine and go with another one i'm just selecting this jpg to uh, png i'm selecting a jpg file just from download just looking for jpg oh is there any jpg is so this is the jpg file just click to convert and you can see this file has been converted to png so this website is working fine now after uploading all add-ons just close this option so this is enough for today i will upload a separate video about virtual min soon if i have uploaded that video then you will get that video in the i button of this video if you like our content then definitely give a like to this video and if you are new to this channel then subscribe this channel by clicking on the red button below of it also hit the bell icon its advantage will be that whenever i post a video you will get its notification first and you will not miss that video we will meet with such interesting content in our next video till then goodbye tata see you soon